Hey guys, it's JC from Motion VFX here, and today we're going over the brand new release M Transition music video for DaVinci Resolve. So once you've installed the M Transition music video from the installer, you want to head over to the effects tab, search for M Transition music, and that should be enough for it to come up. And here you're going to see 60 different transitions that you can use. You'll see some of them have a star next to them. Yours won't on installation, but these are just some of my personal favorites that I use quite regularly. So that way I don't always have to search for them. I can just go to my favorites here and then it'll be there. To add a transition or any effect really, all you have to do is just go to the right side of the effect and just press the star. Now I'm of course not going to go over each and every single one of these transitions as we'd be here all day, but I will go through some of the more advanced ones. But what I would recommend to you and what I personally did is just put your playhead in between two clips and then just go through each of the transitions and you'll be able to see what the effects it makes. Just scrolling through from left to right on each transition will give you a short preview so you can see roughly what that transition would do. This in my opinion is the best way to familiarize yourself with all the transitions. So before we do get started, I will just close this tab here so we can see the transition names in their entirety. So once you've gone through all these transitions, you'll start to realize how there's so much variety in this pack that it'd be super easy to make your videos more dynamic. Instead of using simple cuts, you can just drag and drop these eye-catching transitions and really make your video stand out. Now, although a lot of these transitions work simply on the drag and drop basis, there are some that do require a little bit of work. For example, the default duration for each transition is one second, but for some, you'd want it to be a lot quicker than that. Like the flash smear transition, for example. Playing this back, you can see it drags on a little bit. However, when I cut that down to being quite quick, you can see that effect pops that much more. And that's the same thing for the Luma flash. You know, these flash transitions don't look great when they're being dragged on. So we recommend for them to look their best, just shortening it up so it really is a flash going from one scene to the next. And of course, you do have the options to customize these on the right in the inspector tab, so you can really dial in the look you want. But now we'll move on to a transition that does require a little bit more effort as it has a very unique mechanism. And that is the M Transition Music Video Custom Mask. Now, once you click onto this transition in the timeline, you're going to see all the options to adjust this inside the Inspector tab. So how this transition works is it takes a mask from the second source, puts that into the video first before bringing in the entire clip. Now, just like the name suggests, this is a custom mask. So you can actually customize the shape that's currently here. And there's two ways to go about it. I'll show you the simple way and the slightly more complicated way, but it gets you much better results. The first way is to open up the Fusion overlay here and literally just drag these points. As you can see, how I'm dragging these points here is adjusting that mask. So you can you know, really fine tune it, adjusting it to the person you have here. And then to get more points, if there aren't enough for you, just click in between and you will find new points to be created. And doing this in a very quick, rough way, that is your result. Now, alternatively, you can actually pair this with the Magic Mask tool and from there, get a very accurate result. So to do that, all you need to do is make sure you're clicked onto the transition, go to the Inspector tab and press this button here. This is going to open up a Fusion tab where you'll be able to add in a custom mask. So we have our Media 1, which is the first clip, and Media 2, which is the second clip coming in. So the first thing we'll do is add a new node. So I'll hit Shift Spacebar to bring up the Select Tool window. From there, I'll search for the Magic Mask and add that. Now the output from Media 2, you want to drag this into the input of the Magic Mask. Then select the Magic Mask node and on the left window, you're going to see the second clip. Now from here, I'll just do it very roughly, but you can draw around your subject for that Magic Mask to create. Now we've created that, we do want to get rid of this just to make sure it's more accurate. Then from here, we're going to press this button so it tracks both sides. Then once that's fully tracked, we'll drag this box into the pink triangle. Now, as you can see, we still have the same shape as before as the final step to make sure we do have that custom mask is to just click that custom button in the inspector tab. And now you can see the transition works with that mask we've created. So it does take a few extra steps, but the end result is definitely worth it. And now to transition from these people dancing to this guy on the drums, we're gonna use the drop zone flash transition. So anytime you see the word drop zone in a motion VFX effect or transition, that just relates to the area where you can put in extra footage. So in this case, we have the one drop zone, which is a photo. So to do that, you'll go into the inspector tab, go to browse, and once you load that in, you'll see the drop zones here. So you have all the different effects for how you want the drop zone to look. So you can control the positioning, the size, and the rotation of the drop zone here. And then in the transition controls, we can control how that drop zone looks. So we can take away the blur, the glow, 
the green, so you can really dial in the effects to get the exact look you're going for. I quite like the glow, but I'm gonna dial it down to touch as well as the blur so we can see it a little bit. And I think I'll just make this a little bit bigger. And now playing the full transition back. Now there's a few more transitions that use the drop zone like this drop zone flicker or the film roll and you do the exact same things, clicking onto the inspector tab, going onto the drop zone controls and then just hitting browse and filling in your drop zone. And now to transition from this person on the drums to a person playing guitar, I'm now gonna show you one of my favorites and that is the caption slide. So what this does is bring a super cool text transition onto the screen before transitioning out. So to customize the text, you'll just go again in the inspector tab, hit caption controls, and then you have your text box here. You can then change the font, the colors, the size, the spacing, all the text options just as normal, so you can really dial in exactly how you want it. And then in the transition controls, you have all of these options to control how the transition actually looks. So you can change the whole direction of the transition. You can dial in how much each clip slides. So slide 01 relates to the first clip, the guy on the drums. So you can slide this left and right so you can see where you'd want him to be. And then slide 02 relates to the person who played the guitar, the second clip. And again, do the same thing so you can slide how that looks. And then you also have your zoom, which is going to affect how the second clip comes in with the zoom. And of course, with any of these options, you can just toggle them off if you don't want them to happen at all. But I quite like them, so I'll keep them on. And the rest of the transitions work just as easily where you just drag them on and customize it to how you like. But one thing to bear in mind when using this pack is that it's not limited to just being used to transition from one clip to another. You could also use this as in-clip effects. And what I mean by that, if I take these two people singing, if I make a cut inside this one clip, so we're not moving anything or adding any other footage, we're just slicing the clip as it's playing, I can then add a transition to that cut, and now we have a super cool effect within the footage. So if you have a really long take and you wanna keep the energy high by adding in a few effects, this is a great way to do that. Just make a cut at any point within the video and now you can add that same transition effect to really take it to the next level. So I hope this overview has been helpful for you and you're now ready to use this pack to level up your videos. And remember, if you have any questions, please drop them down in the comments below or head to our website at motionvfx.com. I've been JC and this has been your M Transition Music Video Overview. See you in the next one.